500. Always dramatic, always exciting at the finish. Here oh. comes Sterling Marlin on the outside. Well, what a move. Now, can he make it stick? Sterling Marlin hanging on, and he's with Schrader. Now, Marlin dives to the inside. I can't quite do that. Oh, three gets front. sideways for just a moment. And Schrader moving up on the outside. A very smart, fast move. Oh, by 44 is boxed, and he had to slam it to the inside. This will double them all back up again. Schrader has the advantage. Rick Wilson goes to second. He won't give ground. It's a break for Ken Schrader. Earnhardt on the bottom. And as they run side by side, Schrader gets a little distance. Coming down for the finish of the 20th annual Talladega 500. Missouri's Ken Schrader in front. Coming back. Down out of turn four comes Earnhardt. Wilson on the outside. He wants to take one more shot. Here they come. All battling for the lead. Bodine comes back up the middle at the line. Schrader. Checkered flag is out. Incredible win for Ken Schrader in the Harry Hyde car. Man. What a move that he made on the second turn. Racing is my business, and I've been going for 50 years, and I can't remember one like this. I really can. Well, Ken Schrader's done it. Let's look at a replay of this incredible finish that we have just witnessed here at the Talladega 500. Here they come, every one of them battling for position. Nobody a lap down through the tri-oval. Schrader up on the outside. Look at Earnhardt sideways, getting it back. And at the strike, it is Ken Schrader who made his unquestionably correct move. It's a photo for Earnhardt. third. Oh. Second was Jeff Bodine, and as you say, a photo for third between Rick Wilson and Dale Earnhardt. Oh, wow, Schrader has won. I'll tell you, the coolest person under fire today has been our statistician keeping the score. <laughs> Ann Schrader never looked up as her husband came to the line, just kept on writing down numbers. I can't believe that. Uh, they're a pretty good group. We need to release her so she can get Victor Lane with her husband. Well, there you see the winner. We're very, very late standing by for the Buick Open. You see Ken Schrader headed into victory lane. Look at Earnhardt almost to the grass as Purvis works Sterling Marlin down the racetrack. Wow. I'm telling you, Earnhardt was almost <laughs> in the grass. White flag, last lap. Schrader and Labonte will slug it out for the lead. Look at this fight for third. Earnhardt has it on the one. Two car breakaway by five car lengths. It ain't over to us. No. You need to go. Labonte, Schrader takes it down. Labonte kind of pins at the bottom, comes back up. Kenny Schrader's going to lead him. Here comes Earnhardt, and three abreast for second. Give second to Labonte. I believe Earnhardt is third by inches, and Marlon fourth, Purvis fifth, Kenny Schrader. Gets his second career win in the Bush Series, and his first December 1989 at Dover. And they don't get no better than that. They don't, isn't it? <laughs> That's a great finish, and you can tell, folks, we know all about what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they were speculating at home right along with you. Well, even I've been there, and I know it, it's kind of like you're never sure until you get that. But start, like uh, Buddy said, the start finish line is so far down there, it's hard to really know who's going to win this thing. I don't know who thought that up. They may say it was a sales ticket, but it, it's been a driver's nightmare. I've lost my <laughs> inches right there. <laughs>